Hey y'all, it's Cassandra with Pecan Porch Boutique. Well y'all, my next project is buried over here under all this junk. Can you believe it? It's been sitting out here forever. Bet you can't guess what it is. I know you can't, cause you probably can't see it, right? Time to uncover. This sweet little church pew here has been sitting on my back porch for quite some time. And I don't know y'all, I might need some prayer and heavenly intervention to get this one done. It's Cassandrella time and ain't no Prince Charming coming to save me. So looks like I should get after it. But I'm trapped in sand. I'm a prisoner of the pain. I'm going to be using DIY's black velvet. I watered it down so that it becomes more like a dye and seeps into the fabric rather than sitting on top. Then I used a firm bristle brush to rub it in. I'm using my Miss Mister spray bottle to move the paint around, just like I would if I were painting a piece of furniture. Did you see the difference? I decided to go ahead and paint the frame of this piece in black velvet as well. And to seal it, I'll be using DIY's Big Top. I keep it in my FIFO green tip bottle. For my second coat of sealer, I'm going to be using my blue sponge applicator. It's great for long linear surfaces and it reduces the brush strokes. I decided to use my 220 grit sandpaper to do a light distress. I'm going to be using Iron Orchid Designs Wallflower Transfer. This is a beautiful transfer that fits together like a puzzle. I expect some cracking and wrinkling, and I'm okay with that. I'll seal it all up with Big Top, and then I'll spray a little bit of my Elmer's Craft Adhesive over the top, seal it up with Big Top again to get rid of the glue stickiness. 